All right, so we got Mr. Burgo here, represent EBL. You know, if it ain't exclusive, it don't matter. We got Jihad here, exclusive interview, Herb Report. Yeah. Jihad, introduce yourself, my G. Oh, this is your man from a fan's point of view. You already know where to follow me at from a fan's point of view. Your man, Joey Jahal, you already know. Shout out to my babies, Krishna, um, and my new baby, Jahal Jr. You already know. Shout out That's to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. You already know that. That's first and foremost. Can't Facts. do nothing without them. So, bro, so where did all the jihad controversy come from? Where did it okay, all come first, from? First of all, before we talk, let's, let's, uh, let me give you a little prayer. Because I'm a Christian, so everywhere I go, I pray first. That's one. So okay. I just need everybody to bow your heads and let's just pray, you know, to the Lord Jesus Christ that woke us up this morning. Heavenly Father, I come to you, the father of Isaac, Jacob, and um, Abraham. I'm, I, I have to pray before I talk because God gave me a mouth and gave me eyes and gave me breath to even be here on your platform. So that's first and foremost. Then I, wanna, I want God to um, help and push everybody that's listening to this to him because he's more important than anything that we do every day. But we don't even recognize him because we live in our own way. So I want to praise God and give thanks to God first and ask God to um, push his mercy on everybody that's listening to this and give y'all a light and a better sound mind and a better way of life than we live in, um, especially with this pandemic. We need the blessings. In Jesus' name, I want to pray for everybody that's listening. Amen. That's a fact, man. Salute to the most high, obviously. Right. Yes, sir. Now, um, you said, where did I get what? I said, where did all the Joey Jihad controversy start from? Oh, man. Me and Battle Truth. Me and Battle Truth. Me and Malachi, man. All right, so first of all. Got... No, I know. so you and Truth. Yeah, me and Truth. Me and Truth or me and URL. It was one of them. URL, me and Battle Truth. It was, it was like combined. Nah, keep going, keep going, like, elaborate. Now, now uh, URL was doing the pay-per-views, remember, four years ago, five years ago, 2017, that's when they was doing the, the um, pay-per-view. They was going crazy, and they was charging $60, $100. They wasn't dropping Young Ill versus Conceited. There's a lot of things that I didn't like, and me and Battle used to speak on it. So I said, you know what, I'm going to make a page and bootleg the battles and put it on so people could watch it without paying for nothing. I was like the URL app before they made the app. So I started dropping battle after battle. I got like 10 million views and like 3,000 subs. But it was getting crazy because I would drop a, a title, but I'll be talking and I'll get like 12,000 views in two hours because I was, I was manipulating the people to think that I had the battles, but I was just talking. So I was, I was becoming a blogger. So they was flagging me left to right. You know what I'm saying? Battle Truth was um, blowing up as well at this time. Me and Battle Truth was wilding too. But I surpassed them, but I wasn't a blogger. So it was like, you a fake, I'm a fake blogger all coming in. <clears throat> Even though I knew everything, but I wasn't talking. So it was a conflict between me and him because he was like, why are you bootlegging the battle? I was like, <clears throat> and I told him, don't get mad at what I'm doing to get to where I'm got to get. You worry about you. Because I started getting paid because, you know, a thousand subscribers. You start monetizing your YouTube page, but it wasn't like that then. All you had to do is have a thousand views and you started monetizing. So I got like a thirty five hundred dollar check, some crazy stuff like that. I'm not gonna say Battle Truth was hating, because that's my manager now, but he was definitely did you a help, Did you help Battle Truth start blogging or was he already no, blogging before? No, you no, started? he was blogging. Nah, I remember he he blogged on his own. I, okay. I hit him up in his DM because he was a Christian. I'm a Christian. Okay. And we had the same views. So me and him, me, we fell in love with each other. Like, not fell in love with each other like that. Like, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. We were both Christians. We fell in love with Christ and each other. Yeah. And then the girl I was with, remember, she was rich. She, was, she made the Xbox. So she was making the Xbox. He was thinking of, of doing the console. So he sent, we sent him an um, a NDA on non-disclosure. And she was going to make his console for him. So that's how that, that, that started. And, and now, then, okay. We got to discuss the main issue. So, so the controversy started with truth. So then after with truth, wh where did it, where did it I, unfold to? I blew up because I, my face got taken. Like, so Debo got slapped by Shuni, right? Okay. I put his video up, right? It got like 30, 13,000 views in one, in one hour. 
he Debo said, "Do you know Jahad?" So Battles was like, "Yeah, I know him, but he a loose cannon." I ain't know he said that because I'm like, "That's that's that's grimy." Why would you say that? Like you 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 betraying me, my trust. So he's like, "Debo on the phone call. Do you want to speak to him?" Yeah, Debo was like, "Yo, I got a family. Can you take that down?" I'm not taking nothing. I know how I am. I'm not taking nothing. I'm a grown man. Don't call me to take nothing down. You a grown man. You got slapped. That's your fault. Oh, she ain't really slapped me to slap me. We're back. Yeah, she ain't really slapped me to slap me. She, I'm like, bro, that's you got to explain that to your people. Oh, my people was mad because it's going around, so I need or Who you think you debo in? This ain't Friday. I said, we rats. That's our job. When your house ain't clean, we come cleaning up for you. Thank you so much, baby. So that's why. Yes. So I told Debo, um, this is what we do. We, 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 we rats. If your house ain't clean, hey, you going to see a rat. Clean up your house. I said, I'll take it down. For the respect, but I won't take about my commentary on what I said about house. How I would think you a sucker. So he was so, like, "See, the battle was like, see, he, I told you he a loose cannon." So I, I went off on truth, like, "Yo, truth, you supposed to be my man." F these, like, why you sound like a clown, bro? Like you trying to be on their side? F these. So he ended up flagging me. His snitch, his snitch behind. Um, Debo, Debo ended up flagging my channel, and it came down. I got mad because I got to start all over. So I, I made I made one blog like Truth got my page tucking down, and it got like a thousand subs. But he was like, I'm not gonna respond to you because you are nobody. So this is him throwing his weight around. I'm like, what? Yo, I'm, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Don't say nothing, Truth, or I'm gonna I'm gonna blast you. I know everything about you. So he actually he kept commenting, but he never responded on a YouTube blog. So I said, you know what? I made one blog. It had like a thousand views. He couldn't even wait because it was so powerful. It was getting mad attention. So then he made a, 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 a YouTube blog and then we started going back and forth. And that's when that blogging war started with me and Battle Truth. And, we, and then okay. that's when I had the first 1,200 subs. Okay, so after Battle Truth, where did the right. beef with Queens Flip begin? Now, the beef, he ain't coming until early. He, he, he came in way after that. But I, at this time, I'm donating to Queens Flip though. Like, so at this time, so I'm donated, donating the Queen's Foot. Like, so he's cool in my eyes. Queen's Foot before all of this shit. You were donating right. the Queen's I was donating 100. Because I, I was with the rich lady. So I was giving a lot. I was giving people um Xbox. Because I'm a Christian, okay. too. I was giving people $30 every Sunday. I was giving back. Like, don't think I'm a scumbag. No, nah, wait. So I was, I was giving people. So he was one of the people I was giving. I was giving Battle Truth. I was giving. I was a giver. That's what I do. I give. I okay. love giving. I don't care what nobody says. So I love what giving. what made you... What made you show up to shoot the fair one with Queens Flip? Hold on, it gets better. So, going down the line, Queens Flip did a sucker move to somebody. I aired him out because that, like, I don't like sucker. Don't do no sucker stuff. Like, I aired him out. I wowed on him. Whatever. He sees it, but he don't. He don't. He don't. He don't react like how he reacting now. Cool. Um, I donated to him again when he did something positive. Then he did another sucker move. I'm like, oh, you a sucker. Oh, you not real. Like, you ain't representing. Nigga, use us. Like, you a sucker. You a low-down sucker. Like, you like you do sucker moves. So, I'm airing him out. So, years go by. He don't like me now. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't like me. I could tell. He don't, I could tell because we, we had a little mutual understanding. Like, I would come on and say, I say something, he like it. Or he'll say, yo, good looking salute. He stopped doing that. He don't like me. Then he gets the cheating on his female, his girl. Yo, come on. He cheated on his girl. Okay. Whether, whether, whatever the case may be. The girl came out publicly. Y'all all saw her when she was like, yo, I gave you head. You know what I'm saying? You had, um, and then you try to curve me and act like I'm a side piece. I gave you head. I sat your fat behind on her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm laughing. Okay. I don't like you. So I'm, I put the video up and I started laughing. I got like 23,000 views. Battle Truth did it. And he did it in a loving way. Like, yo, you shouldn't allow this to, you know, to tell your family. To look what it's doing to you. I'm laughing at it. Okay. 112 and 1st Avenue. 112? And 1st Avenue. Right. Yes. What? Oh, this guy's a clown. See, the stuff like that get me mad. That stuff get people smacked. Stuff like that get people Smack the taste out of the yeah. Now, talk that shit. Talk that when shit. Queen Flip, when now, when Queen Flip saw it, he said, "You want to get your stuff out? Um, you want to get your stuff out the right way? You can come see me and, and talk about it in person since you think you're tough." One talking first happened. 
I'm like, I'm waiting for that lady right there. Hold on. That lady right there. Hold on, Papa. Yeah, she coming. So he like, you come see me. If you really feel like that's up and you're a stand-up dude, come see Queen Foot. But that wasn't Queen Foot talking. That was Space Ghost or somebody else or whoever. I don't know who be on his show. Everybody be up there. So I'm like, okay. what? Bet. I could, and, then, and then this is... And then the, what I don't like is Kayshawn been up there. Good's been up there. You know, everybody he tells to come see him. He don't, he no, don't no, act no, tough. No, no, no. Yeah, let's, let's break it down, though. Let's break it down. I right. want to get to the point where you got to the point where you drove up. You got to the spot. Oh, I'm, getting to I'm getting to that point. I'm getting to that point. I just told you he told okay. me to come up to the show, but it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Now, before yeah. that, you shot the fair one in the middle of the street, right? Yes, but you're not listening, bro. You you asked me for an interview. I'm telling you how I led up there. You telling me we got shot the fair one. This is all before it. This is before it happened. This is what was going okay. on. Okay. Where you going? Are oh, you going back to your house? All right. Well, let me get off at my stop, and then you and he gonna take you to your stop. All right. All right. So like I said, he told me to come up there. I said bet, and I'm thinking like Keyshawn Goods go up there. He he tried to act tough, but he don't he don't he don't be wanting to fight them. He be scared, low key. You know what I'm saying? He, he a punk. Like, all right, bet. So we can talk about it, argue about it. But I'm gonna tell you how it is. How how I felt. How I felt. And he said, "You disrespected my wife." First of all, I never disrespected your wife. I don't play those games. So let me go see you. I was downtown already near his stop. He's not in Queens. He's in Soho. Soho is south of um, Houston Street. That is downtown Manhattan where all the cops are. I want y'all to understand that. He don't own it. It ain't his block. It ain't Queens. It is south of Houston Street. So anybody can go there. And it's about a great restaurant. So when, I, and then I was with two people. Now, these people always act tough when they with me. I said, come with me. Just in case somebody, just to, you could grab them off and they try to jump me. I told him, come just in case. I went down there to talk, not to fight. See, he, he be lying. He came down here to fight. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm a Christian. I, I ain't, we, don't fight, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers that rule against us. So I was not down there to fight you. I came down there to talk to you that real stuff. And I was going to tell you, you did cheat on your wife. Because accusation is cheating. Period. It shouldn't be none of that, especially if you got a big platform and you know you got a family and you got a girl saying, I gave you hey, That ain't nothing to play with when it comes to your wife. Prank or not. So I was going to give him the whole speech. I got down there. We took a cab there. I got down there. Jumps off the cab. They like, um, I'm like, yo, I came here for Queen Flip. Some dude down. So he's like, oh, let me go get him. Two, th two, three fat guys came, big guys. I don't know. I don't know they soft until after. Queen Flip came out. He came out with, with, with something, a little metal. I said, oh, you got to kill me. <laughs> you got the wrong person. You're going to have to take my life. I believe in Christ. I'm not bowing down to that. He's like, oh, I respect that. You better. <laughs> you have no choice because you want to kill me. Period. And you're not ready to kill nobody because 90% 90, 90 of males wait, so, is not ready to kill wait, and do so, 25 years. Wait, so Jahar, when you say he came out with something a little metal, what are you talking about? Come on, bro. You ain't Vlad and I ain't the Vlad people. We know. Okay. No, okay. I'm just making right. sure. Okay. Right. So... Right. And I say that with respect because I know I know you ain't trying to yes, indict sir. nobody. I, I know yes, that. Sir. Um, yes, sir. So when he came to me and said, yo, um, I respect that. I said, you're going to have to. You have no choice. And not like you're soft. It's like you're not ready to do 25 years in prison. You got a big platform. Come on. You, look, it's camp. You look, you really serious? Mm -hmm. If you want to get it on, you ain't beating me up. We can get it on all day. I like fighting. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I need my butt whoop if, I, if I'm out of line. Or you gonna get mm -hmm. your butt whooped if you out of line. Like I, 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 I understand a one on one. I don't That's try to take it past that unless it's fair one. Yes, a yeah. Fair one. I don't try to take it past that unless my life is on the line, my family life. That's when I'm going to the guns. I don't go there though. I keep one, but I don't go there. That's like I'm like a cop. That's my last option. A real cop. Yep. That's my last resort mm -hmm. to shoot you. Now. We end up, um, he said, ah, right, he put his thing down. He swung at me. He put his thing that came out, swung at me. I, I weaved out. I, I punched him. Dead in, I punched him straight. It was a straight punch. We started getting it on. He caught me a couple times in my head. We tussling. But then I got mad at the tussle. I don't know what triggered it. And I just started, I started, I started, I started wilding on him. 
boop, bop, boop, bop, boop, boop. I started, I just started punching him like a lot. Then he tried to pick me up, but I don't know. Like I got, I got weird strength. I'm not as big as him because he's fat, but I'm, 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 I'm stocky. I dragged him to the floor. He's saying he slipped. That's what his favorite line is. I dragged his big behind to the floor. He just didn't think I could fight. <laughs> I was about to stomp him out. I said, get up. I never said I'm a fan of yours. I, Queen Flip, you need, see, this is going to make me smack the taste out of your mouth when I see you. Stop saying that I said I'm a fan of yours. I never told you that. What are you talking about? Why would you lie? I see, I, that's one thing I don't like liars. I never said, so, I said, you, I said, yo, Flip, get up. You my mans, get up. Get up. Get up and we gonna wait, fight so, again. Wait, yeah, so during the fight, he was like, let me up, let me up, right? He was nah, like, let he me never up. Said, I, just, I, I just dragged him to the floor. And he yeah, said, he like, why you grab him? You let him up. It, it, you let him yeah, get up. He said, no, but uh, he, he never said, let me up, though. I told him to get up. Because you look crazy. Okay. okay. I ain't know somebody was recording it, though. The people I was with, I, oh, that we gonna get to later, that I violated the record. I don't do record. I said, nobody record nothing. Because my story going to be told and it's going to be truthful. No, but the fact is, in that beef that y'all had in the street, you did let him get back up. That's a fact. Yeah, I told him. I, yes, I said, get up. He said, I respect that. He said, because he said, why are you grabbing me? That's what he told me. I said, because we fighting, stupid. Now, if I stab, if I fight you, stab you, grab you, punch you, shoot. It's a fight. It, anything is allowed. Ain't no such thing as rules. All right, so now, here we come to the main question, though. So, you basically, you win the fight in the street. And so why do you go upstairs to that nigga's spot for an interview now, after you won the fight? Why now, do you do that, bro? Now, watch this. It ain't stopped there. So we in the street. He like, yo, you can, I give, can I get a pound? Like, you official. Hold on. The power of a mind. Watch this. He's not saying, like, he's tough no more. Like, now I got his guard is there. Yo, you got that one. All right, that's respectable. You coming upstairs? Never. I just fought you. That's the first thing I said. See, that's what's not being said. We went across the street and he flushed at me. I said, see, we ain't gonna, don't play with me. I don't know you. Don't do that. Cause I'm a, I'm a pop on you. I don't know what you're doing. Cause I just fought you. We spoke on the side of the street for an hour and 20 minutes. That's what nobody knows. Okay. I never just went upstairs. We spoke. He said, why did you violate my wife? When I broke it down to him, he was listening. He was no longer talking. Mm -hmm. He was like, you're right. That's, that's grown stuff. I, everything I was telling you before when I said, like, you know, you can't do pranks. You've been violating everybody. Don't get mad when it happened to you. Then you put your girl on front street because you got a girl saying she give you that, but she recanted her safety. I said, but how your wife feel? You don't know women. See, you think you do. You her, you her husband. So I'm laughing at it because I don't care. We got static. But the way Battle Truth was saying it was in love. He was like, oh, watch when I catch Battle Truth. I said, you're not going to do nothing to him. I don't like Battle Truth at this moment, but you're not going to do nothing to him because that's your brother. You love him. So don't let this internet okay, stuff so, fool you. But, how, but that how, did it get, how did it get to the point where you ended up going back upstairs? You're not listening, bro, 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 bro. How, the way you conduct the interview, you ask a question and you allow somebody to elaborate. There were steps because everybody keep on saying, how did you get upstairs? I'm telling you how I got upstairs. You're not even letting me finish. This is all leading to me going upstairs. So, as because I know you, I know in your brain, you're like, but why would you go? It don't, you're not listening. One, we shook hands and we spoke for an hour and a half. After an hour and a half in fighting in New York, it's over. The beef's done. You could actually go make money with the nigga. In other states, that wouldn't happen. Understand that. Now, we spoke as men. He said, yo, you right. And I have to take accountability for my actions. He said, let's go do the interview now because that's what you always wanted anyway. So don't say it like I'm a fan. I got my own brand. I'm from a fan's point of view. I had 13,000 subs at this time, 10 million views. Don't talk to me like I'm some fan of yours. I'm a fan of your show and your work. That's why I donated to you. He said, let's, let's, let's do the interview. So then we went upstairs and did the interview. We did the interview for 40 minutes, talking about it bringing up good things. Y'all never seen the interview because Jenna called his cousin because she thought he was getting shot or killed or robbed because these three punks, these fat niggas, Space Ghost and the other two punks, I told TMS to leave the building because you ain't got nothing to do with it and you meant to. I don't want you to get touched because I feel for you. He left. 
Okay. That's when uh, <clears throat> then J.O. came, thinking that his cousin is getting raw, not knowing his cousin just had a fight, had a talk. If J.O. would have knew all of that, he said he would never came. I never knew none of that. I just hearing what Jenna told me. And he's calling Queen Flip phone, and Queen Flip is not answering, which is scaring him. So when he got there, he was on go time. I said, Flip, your cousin coming up here is a smoke because I'm getting up and we fighting, nigga. Okay. Yeah, hello, y'all. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I was on the phone. My bad. I'm getting mad. Cool. Okay, you good. good. All right. Now, so yeah. So he came on go mode. I said, "Yo, is your cousin about static?" He said, "Nah, I got this." I said, "All right." He got there. He said, "Yo, who was fighting?" I'm. I'm not saying nothing because you said you got this. I'll be wrong if I punch you in your face because he keep pointing at. I don't like people that point at me. Don't point at because that means there's an action behind the point. Then he swung at me out of nowhere. He said, yeah, him. And I'm, fight, I'm fighting him. Don't say fight him. I fought Jahad. Me and Jahad fought, and we good. He, when he swung, I weaved it. I'm throwing his, and I'm throwing wait, his wait, hands wait, with J.O. Still, Jahad, Jahad, get back to the point. How the fuck did you get upstairs to Queen? I said I got upstairs already. Wait, so, all right, put yourself there. So what's going on there? You're there now. What's going on? I just said it. Me and him was down. No, you're, you're, oh, okay, so you're in, a, you're in the interview. It's going on, right. and the nigga shows up. What happens? I, I'm, I'm, are you listening to me? I'm explaining I'm everything to you. So you how to you ain't catch yourself. I just explained it. Now I got to re-explain it because you're not listening. No, I, I am it. listening. You didn't re-explain when Queen Slip two-pieced you. I didn't get there. Okay, let's get there. Let's go. What you mean, let's go, bro, bro? Do you know how to conduct the interview? No, what I mean is, bro, we're trying to get to the point. The point is... Not getting to the point. Point. Hold on. You can't get to the point if you don't know everything. See, that's the problem with you. You trying to get to a fighting thing. What about what happened before? And then when before I even get to the point, you're like, yo, what, what about what about when you went upstairs? And then you're like, what about when he two pieced you? First of all, don't disrespect me. Because he did a sucker move. I didn't say it wasn't a sucker move, but it, it, right. I didn't say it wasn't a sucker so, move. That's definitely a sucker move. Then. I'm gonna say it because I have no shame in my game. None. So if you don't have to go there. Let me get there. I got you. You have to okay. allow me to get there. Okay. Now, like I was saying, when he swung at me, when J.O. swung at me, I weaved it. I threw my hands at him. Queen Flip is grabbing my shoulder and my hand. So I'm really stead back. But he's not hitting me because I got my, my face covered like a shell of a turtle. Queen Flip is the only person that hit me. J.O. never touched me. He hit me twice in my nose. I'm thinking it's J.O. because I can't see. It wasn't to battles you said on his live. He think J.O. hit him. J.O. didn't hit him. Queen Flip hit you. So I'm like, so and then I'm like, yo, you hit me, Flip. Because I felt in my heart that he jumped. And he was like, yo, yo, my bad, my bad. J.O. is running in and out the what's the name room. I'm confused. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I gave this nigga the one on. What's the name? Now, when the cameras went off, I'm like, yo, J.O., give me the one on outside. He never came back out downstairs. Okay. He never came downstairs. So that's how he ended up two-piecing me. No, no. And see, I didn't mean any disrespect by saying the two-piece. What I mean is I feel like you got jumped as well. The nigga showed up. Right. And then right. they fucking But he showed up. He, see, J.O. showed up because of what Jenna told him. Okay. Okay. Right. Because if you say, if a girl tell you your cousin getting robbed, you want to just fly to the spot, correct? Facts. Facts. That's what he did. Exactly. So he's coming on go time. But not knowing that Queen Flip guard is down. Queen Flip hit me off a sucker move. He hit me because I whipped his ass downstairs. That's the only reason why that's he hit what me. I mean. The two piece was right. a straight sucker move. That's what I mean. Like, but he's two- saying that he hit me because he saw his cousin fighting. No, that no, that was a sucker move. We can all watch the footage. We're not gonna post right. it here. It was a sucker move. Right. We all seen it. It's period. Right. So that's, that's where the two piece came from. Like I said, I thought Joe, I thought JO hit me. I ain't no Queen Flip hit me. I, I guess my point is, why would you even go up there? For an interview with with the ops, basically he was like I said. Hey, are you from New York? I'm from I'm from Boston. There we go. So then you want to know? 
I mean, dog, I wouldn't trust the man that I just beat in a fight and go up to his house to have an interview. Just being honest. Yo. Yo, you hear me? Hello. Yo. He on the moon. All right. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm just doing, bro. I, I I wouldn't trust the dude that I just beat in the fair one. That's because you're from Boston. I never said nobody said nothing about trust. But after you fight somebody, you can ask Goods, you can ask Kayshawn. After I fight you, I could be next to you because I know ain't nothing going to happen no more. That's a New but York look, thing. But look what happened. Yes, that's one of the instances out of a lot of things that go on in New York. You're just saying a retaliation, but normally that don't happen. So, so you're saying that it's cool normally to shoot the fair one with somebody, beat him up, and then go chill with him at his crib? No, I would never chill with him at his crib. He's a platform. I'm a platform. We went to his platform to talk about the fight. But look what happened right afterwards. He basically called somebody to jump you, bro. But he didn't call him. Jenna called him. That's one. Two, yes, he did do a fucking movie, jump me. But that's, like I said, that's a learning experience now. But if you ask k they would be like, yeah, I fought a lot of people and got cool with them right after or walked with them after. Because it ain't really like how y'all are in other states. Even though it should be, thought process wise, you get what I'm saying? We should be thinking like that, but that's not how it is in New York. Okay, I respect it. I respect right. it. Right, that's you know not. What I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. Like people could shoot. I seen people shoot at each other and chill with them. I wouldn't do that. But if it's a one on one, because it was honorable and I won the fight, I'm thinking that yo, ain't no more static. We gonna talk about me and you fighting because he never did that. He had fights a lot of times outside the studio. He ain't jump him after. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was just saying. That's that, and, and and that's that's how it happened. So y'all want to know why I went upstairs because we had a conversation. Okay, so now we're done with all that. So where are we going from here? What's next for Jihad? What's next? Um, now it's just uh, now it's just now it's just uh, growing my brand again. I'm back to almost a thousand subscribers, so I'm about to get paid again. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm, salute. Yeah, I'm almost. I'm at nine fit nine ninety eight or something like that. So two more to subscribe. I'll be back to monetizing. I gotta get my thirteen thousand subs back. I gotta a blog more. The reason why I wasn't blogging, I got mad stuff to do. I had to just pay a DJ. I had to pay for the food for the baby shower. Spend thirty nine hundred on the baby shower. Sixteen forty, six, uh, fourteen fifty on paternity pictures that I don't even know about. They give you their own gown, the makeup. This is what she wanted. I got. I just bought my son two coats, boots, everything. My first son, I had to take care, and then I got to take care. Mm -hmm. um, my first baby mother asked me for a coat for her daughter. I got to do two coats for her daughter. I had to do the pajama party for Christmas. I did um, Thanksgiving. I just, we just came back from Vegas, California. So I'm just trying to get the family back right. Yeah, here. man. Real life's not cheap, though. You got a family working, right? Yeah, it's not cheap. So, so all I do is. Right, so when people be like, why are you always outside? Um, No disrespect, I got to make money while I blog and give y'all content. Even though it be choppy sometimes and I want to give y'all full content, I got to be a full man first. I don't want to be like Rita and Anwar. I got to praise God and make mm -hmm. sure God is the first person. Then I got to make sure my fiance is the first person that's being looked at and not like she a sucker or she being half looked at. So, Wait, so are you coming back to blogging? Are you coming back to vlogging? That type of shit? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, I'm coming back right now. Yes, yes. I'm already back to blogging. I don't okay. know if y'all know my page from a fan's point of view. Yeah, I'm already back. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. been back. I've been back for what five, six months. But when they took my when they took my page down, when Mav Hoffa snitched on me, and 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 Queen Flip snitched on me, and Piper Boy took my page down. Wait, wait. Elaborate, I start elaborate on that. Wait, Piper Boy and Mav Hoffa snitched on you. Yeah, Mav is a sucker, man. Mav is a true sucker. I can't Talk believe that. Talk about that. Um, me and Math was cool, man. I'm in Math in the jewelry store because he called me a hater. And he wanted to see if I was tough in real life. That's what he really saw. Cause he made 60, I made third. So earthly, we both Tauruses. So he and Matt, Matt, Malachi's a Taurus too, battle tree. So um that's earthly though. We don't believe in signs, but if earthly, we all we all Tauruses. So we got the same kind of 
mannerism almost. We just not as shisty as this nigga. Um, okay. He met me in the store. He's like, yeah, come outside. You use your heart? From a fan's point of view, Mr. Come in. I came outside. What happened? He was like, yo, I feel like you a hater. And I said, how? Because I said you lost to um Av, which you should have never lost to. And when you lost to Snake Eye, that's your fault, man. So as we get into it, he's like, I just wanted to see if you was the same person that you are on your blog. I said, please don't test me. I'm not tough, but I'm real. Ain't nothing okay. realer than that. We changed them by telling him the furniture man, anything you want, you're a battle rapper, I'll give you a discount. And me and him grew up poor, a rapport. He went on Queen Flip Show to talk about me. I allowed him to do that. He called me and asked me, do I want to go? That's my man. I took a piece of a snippet of Surf not showing up on his page on my page. It got like 28,000 subs. I mean, views. I got mad subs over it. I told, but in, in, in his defense, he thought I was stealing his content. I said, no, man, no disrespect. I'm not stealing your content. I told him in the inbox on Instagram, why are you inbox? You got my number. Anyway, I'm like, yo, you're going to get the money back. You're going to get it back. I mean, you're, you're, the money goes straight to your page. It monetized off my page, but the money goes straight to you because that's how they got it. Anybody, anybody stuff that is originally is, that's the one I get paid for. It don't matter what page, what, who page is on. Mm -hmm. You get the money. So I was trying to tell him that because he don't know about YouTube. Okay. How much is that? 13. 13 and then take her home. 881 East 162. What? 881 East 162. She's going to tell you. And she gonna, yes. Yeah, and she's going to pay you the extra, the remaining. All right, I'm going to call you. All right. All right. Yes, ma'am. So I'm telling Mav, like, I, I would never do that. You my man. Why would I? I would never do that to you. Like, what? Like, but he don't know that because he's not calling me. He's just going off of what he's seeing. And I'm like, yo, I'm your man. I should be able to take a clip. When you talked about me for eight hours ab about my own problems or whatever happened to me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't understood or understand why he was mad. So he said, I tried to call you in the wrong number. I gave him my right number. Then he said some sucker shit like, oh, um, never mind. You ain't got to call me. So I said, all right. I ain't calling you. And, oh. and then so when he, when he ain't call, when he, when he ain't call me no more, he, um, he, um, he flagged my channel. I was like, you a sucker for that. I texted him. That's some sucker shit. So have y'all interacted since, since then? No, no. He just, he just said it on his page. Like, I don't want to bring this guy name up, Jahad, but that's the one that he mad at me too. He, the, uh, that's the other one that's mad at me also because, um, because, uh, I don't, I'm, he ain't come on the show. I'm mad that you, you, you ain't come on the show. I actually made my expert opinion. Because my expert opinion came from, from a fan's point of view. And the only reason why it came from a fan's point of view, because after wait, he did wait. the interrogation room, yeah, after he did the interrogation room with Queen Flip, he called me and I said, you should do that more with Chess and Tay Rock. This is when Tay Rock was saying, suck my D wait, to everybody. And I said, you could. I'm not, I'm not going to let that slide. Say that again. You said, I actually made my expert opinion. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I got to go real quick. I'm going I'm to I'm get back on here, but I got to go. Right. Money right now. Salute. EBO. If it ain't exclusive, it don't matter. You already know.